You know, you, of course you're opening a gallery in New York, so you might st must still have a belief that New York is a place where some of the best artists are working now and will be working in the future. Um, what's your impression of Europe now? Yeah, well, I mean, one thing about that is that I'm opening a gallery in Brooklyn, which to New York art world is like opening on Mars in a way, you know? But, um, yeah, I mean, European scene is amazing. I mean, it's, it's, it's different, you know? It feels a little bit less intense market-wise, you know, where in New York you have this insane commercial pressure, somehow it feels a little bit more open to uh, experimentation and interpretation here. And it's really nice, it's refreshing. You kind of like get that chance to breathe and to put new life into something. When you come to an art fair, what's your impression? Well, I mean, I like going to an art fair because uh, you know, in a lot of ways, um, dealers bring out strong works for an art fair and you get to see some really good works. Um, but it's also this place where you can, you know, step into the room and you can gauge the temperature of the art world in a few hours. So that's kind of amazing. I mean, you can't really do that uh, walking around Chelsea even, you know, because it's, um, it's not international in that sense. So I think art fairs are, are great. And like, you know, like we saw here, you know, they can also lead to the production of new works. For example, with uh, Colin's piece in the opening of Vienna Fair, um, he made a new work, you know, for, for the fair. And that's really cool, you know. And the last question, what's your favorite artwork in Vienna Fair? Well, I'm a little bit biased. Uh, can we say Colin's work is in Vienna Fair? Yeah, so, I mean, I love that work and I thought uh, the performance was great. And yeah, I think it was important. I'm glad a lot of people got to see it.